So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently sitting here in the all new 2024 Subaru Crosstech IS. So this is the top of the line model of the Crosstech lineup here in the Philippines. So I'd like to thank Subaru Philippines for making this review possible. And to Sir Kirk of Subaru Cavite. So these are his contact details. And actually I really did my full walk around review of this already a few months ago. So check that out. So this will be just a test drive review of this uh, Crosstech IS top of the line model. Following this is a 2 liter Nachi aspirated box engine that produces 156 horsepower and 196 newton meters of torque and like all automatic Subarus this one is mated to a linear tonic CVT transmission and this one has a 8 speed simulation for the gearing so first impressions immediately this with like with every other Subaru actually uh, the CVT is really good the driving mode adjustments are here in the steering wheel so you only have two intelligent and S sport mode and then here the uh, interior like with every other modern Subaru now so you have a very big screen over here completed Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with your uh, reverse camera and so on you get paddle shifters too surprisingly for this uh, cross deck because the I, what I remember the previous X we didn't have this feature whatsoever and too surprisingly for this top of the line model you get a sunroof and then handling wise being all wheel drive too like with every other Subaru this one seems okay, pretty decent handling it's pretty heavy too so this so it from the previous generation uh, XV well this is still an Subaru XV but it's just a different name now yeah this one surprisingly still pretty decent performance so 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is done in 10 and a half seconds and yeah here at highway speeds 60 kilometers per hour yeah this uh, there's a lot more uh, tire noise than usual and remember this is my first time driving an XV Crosstech on a highway since I was mainly driving this mainly in the city and as you hear uh, earlier driving this with the manual mode and the with the paddle shifters oh auto start stop is on so i want to see how fast the transition is from off to on this is what i like too with uh, subaru cvts they're one of the best ones in the business even better than honda msc because the cvt acts more like a dual clutch transmission it's very responsive yes it only simulates gear but yet again it still acts like a dual clutch transmission go so here oh that's pretty smooth and peppy very quickly but you'll get there eventually it's no slouch okay this will be a very good highway cruiser in my opinion compared only like with the same engine like with the uh, Subaru Forester I find that to be honest a little bit heavy since the engine is carrying a SUV rather than a battle wagon station wagon this is my dilemma now is this worth it over the WRX wagon well there are few instances where the WRX wagon shines well majority and generally the WRX wagon is better in every way however though what the WRX wagon does not have is actually the ground clearance which I am actually impressed with this so this is almost around the 200 millimeters already this is a very very capable off-roader let's not take this away with the all-new Subaru Crosstech so I really wish I can have a land out of this too I can put through its paces so what else over here so you get your cruise control functions here on the right side volume adjustments for the instrument cluster and here for the infotainment system and yeah I really love this auto start stop feature so actually it's one of the best ones I've tried out so far here now in intelligent mode so the handling lightens up surprisingly and I've never seen that feature before with any other car when at a stop with the auto start stop this thing actually kind of locks up well it, you can move it about it's just a safety feature so to avoid the car moving forward that's the other thing I found out with this cross -tick. there's no auto hold function which I think this blank button is for so Anyways, at least uh, the auto start stop is actually one of the best ones I've tried so far. Fuel economy now, well, I can give a proper uh, reading since there are a lot of people driving this before I even got to drive this. So, fuel economy 14 liters per 100 kilometers, which is actually like 7 kilometers per liter. Typical Subaru, but then again, it's, it's still not so bad for what this is. So, for the cost of all of this is 
forgot the price here. <laughs> Two million, eighteen thousand pesos. Okay, so for this top of the line model, yeah, that's the price. Yes, I'm already above the 2 million peso mark. I prefer this IS top of the line model over the IL because there's like only like 10,000 pesos more or so difference from the base model. And this one's already fully equipped. Like example, leather, fully leather seats compared to the IL which has mix of fabric and leather and then there's no sunroof. And yeah, no, it's a no-brainer to get this uh, top of the line model. And especially too with the color. I freaking love this color. So yeah, that concludes my test drive review of this Subaru Crosstrek. One more time. Yeah, that's what I like too with this all -wheel, Subaru all-wheel drive. It's pretty stable even even though you're going at faster paces already. Wow. Okay. So yeah, that concludes my test drive review of finally of this Subaru Crosstrek. So I'd like to thank everyone here again at Subaru Philippines and to Sir Kurt of uh, Subaru Cavite for making this all possible. So, hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you hopefully with the land out of this coming soon. Bye-bye.